Hi everyone, welcome. Today, it was family day. Family day right here in Canada. The states had, I think, President Day? President? I don't know what it's called. But us Canadians, we had Family Day. When people see, when people hear Family Day, what does that give you right away? What does that, what does that tell you? To me, it tells me that it's, it's a day where we, we have time and we take the time to enjoy a wonderful day, you know, a, surprise, a surprising good day with our family. My day and my family, you know, we don't really get together kind of those kind of things. But my girlfriend, her family does. They do. It would be understandable because since her mom has a lot of kids, you know, she has a lot of uh, kids to spend time with, it's quite normal. But to me and my, my family, we don't really get together kind of things. We just stay at home, relax. It's our day to just have our moment, just to sit down and relax. So today, uh, my girlfriend went went out with her her mom and her family to Zellers because I guess Walmart was closed. and I don't really understand why, but they clo they were closed and they went to Zellers. A fortunate, a fortunately, Zellers was not closed, and that's good. So they went to Zellers, they shopped, and they came back. And my girlfriend went back with her sisters. To Tim Hortons. I don't know what they did, but I think they just had some time just to sit down and enjoy themselves. Instead of always rushing one side to another and just, you know, do work and work and work. So it was just a moment to just to chill. So I had my moment myself. I was actually in my apartment pretty much all day just cleaning because, you know, uh, during the weekend, that was pretty much my only time I could actually take the time to clean. You know, clean my floors, you know, make sure everything's organized. My girlfriend does the dishes and a few things in the bathroom, but my job is to clean the floors, mop the floors, vacuum the floors, those kind of things. And between that, you know, I was organizing my papers, my YouTube papers, my school papers, my course papers, you know, those kind of things. And I found my, uh, my speech that I gave at my brother's funeral. And I was like, wow, I'm happy now because Everything I said in in the in the speech it just brought me back to those memories that I had time with Matt. Uh, we went to Tim Hortons that night. You know, right now, if Matt was alive right now, I bet he would be calling me right now and asking me, "Can we go to Tim Hortons?" And that's what we usually did. And I and I'm, in April, I know I know it's way back, but in April this year, I'm going to be making another tribute to Matt. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to bring Sarah and probably a few more people, maybe Wheelchair Dude. And we're just going to go around, probably around here, like 12 o'clock at night, if we could, and reminisce what me, Matt, you know, what we all did. Just to bring you guys the memories that we had. Uh, we'll try to do that one video again with Ainsley Chapman 17, you know, remember that? But her, his, real, his name is Wheelchair Dude now. But anywho. I found the speech and I thought, you know, why not read it to you guys? So, let's see. The speech said, Hi everyone, thanks for coming to my younger brother's funeral. If everyone knew Matt, you all knew that he never liked seeing a sad face on, anyone, on anyone's face, especially his big brother. He always wanted to make everyone laugh with his little jokes. I think the one thing that people will always know about Matt is that he had the ability to be a clown. He loved to laugh and make jokes, but at the same time, it was fun talking to him because he always made me feel that I always had someone to talk to. It's sad knowing that he is gone forever, but at the same time, I know he's watching over me and he always wanted me to ha be happy. He was, my youngest, he was my youngest brother and he always will be my brother. What I will always have a part of Matt in my heart and thoughts is just the way, the memories, those kind of things. Matt was, an, Matt was an example of people that had dreams. And what, did Matt, and what Matt did what he, was he had a dream of buying a cell phone. And he did it. He worked so hard on getting a cell phone. And I still remember the day that he told me, he told me if we could go to the bank and cast his check. He was so excited. And all I could think of is for that one minute of my life was he accomplished what he wanted, and that was his new cell phone. 
Uh, it said it right there in the speech that I still have a cell phone, but I don't have it. But uh, this is what I said in the speech. I still have a cell phone, and he what that he brought, he bought, and worked so hard on getting. It will always be with me as a souvenir of Matt working so hard on getting what he always wanted. And that just shows how much if you have a dream, you should try and accomplish it. And thank yourself at the end for it. And what my message of today is that Matt was a great guy. Not because of what he did for himself, but for what he did to everyone. And that is to make a smile on their face and have a good laugh. And everything I say in here is true. Matt did not want to see no one sad. You know, if so he saw uh, someone sad, he knew that he wanted to make it, you know, refreshed, happy. Matt didn't like school. So did I. I don't like school. You know, we had something in common. We argued, but that was normal. Brothers, brothers, argue. So, I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts on what Matt was like. Stay tuned for this week because I'll be making another video for Channel Boy 12 Response. I figure, you know, I should be making more videos for my Channel Boy 12 Response than my own personal channel. Uh, I'll still be making videos for my Channel Boy 12 channel. It's just, you know, I'd rather take step by step on what, how many videos I should make. Especially if I have so much, you know, groups to join, six awesome people, power of five, six buddies channel, my own channel, you know, I want to set my goals to a limit. So my name is Channel Boy 12, hope you have a great night, and I'll see you then next time.